Once you've created your project in OST, you're ready to start performing takeoff. But before you can begin to perform takeoff, you must first create your conditions. A condition is simply the description of an object or unique building component that is being measured or counted. For accurate results, each unique building object or material should have its own separate condition. For example, if you're taking off 8-foot, 9-foot, and 10-foot walls, each change in height would require a separate condition. This allows for accurate results and the ability to use the condition again in the future. For more details on creating each condition type and saving conditions for future use, see our full training video library. To create a condition, navigate to the Conditions panel on the left and select the blue plus sign from the lower left corner. The Condition Properties window is where you'll specify the condition type and name, dimensions, and desired results. There's no limit to the number of conditions you can create. Once you've entered the necessary details for the condition, you can press OK to add it to the job. There are three primary types of conditions you can create. Linear conditions, area conditions, and count conditions. Let's begin by discussing linear conditions. Linear conditions are used to measure objects in linear feet, yards, or meters, such as walls, continuous concrete footings, gutters, conduit, and more. To draw with a linear condition, simply select the condition from the list on the left and click and drag to trace over the line with your mouse. To draw point to point with a linear condition, simply select the continuous linear icon from the top right of the screen and click once on the screen to begin drawing. At each corner, click once to change directions, then double click to end your run of segments. Once you're finished drawing, your results display in the conditions panel on the left. Area conditions are used to measure objects in square feet, yards, or inches, such as flooring, roofing, or concrete slabs. Just like drawing with a continuous linear, drawing with an area condition is as easy as clicking point to point. Simply click on the first point to start drawing, click once each time you want to change directions, and then double click to finish the object. When drawing with an area condition, you don't have to bring your mouse all the way back to the origination point. Simply double click on the second to last point to finish the object. To draw an area that is a perfect square or rectangle, all you need to do is click and drag your mouse from one corner of the object to the opposite corner to create an object that has even sides. That condition now calculates its results and displays them in the conditions panel on the left. Count conditions are used for any condition that you need measured primarily as an each, such as concrete piers, doors, windows, or fence posts. If you need additional calculations such as height, volume, or surface area, you can enter dimensions in the Condition Properties window and include the desired quantity results. To perform basic count takeoff, simply select the condition you want to use, find the item you want to count on your plan image, and click to drop a count condition. View the next video in our Getting Started series to learn how to view your results in on-screen takeoff. To learn more about performing takeoff or other aspects of working with an on-screen takeoff, explore the full training video library or contact us to schedule live training.